Hello everyone, this is Tania with Talk Time with Miss T. Today I was reading the Bible and uh, I was in Revelation and of course people are freaking out about the Euphrates River and so I just wanted to bring notice that is going on over here in the United States as well. So I wanted to read um, the passage that talks about um, the Euphrates River. So, this is in the book of Revelation, um, chapter 16, and it talks about the bowls of God's anger. So, I want to come over to, what do I want to tell you all? So, this is after there was like a fight in heaven and um, the different angels seven angels um, were sounding off their trumpets um, to let us know what was going on. So chapter 16, verse 12. The sixth angel emptied his bowl into the great Euphrates River and it completely dried up to make a road for the kings from the east. Okay. It goes on to talk about more. I'm going to jump down to verse 15. Remember that Christ says, when I come, it will be surprised. I will, it will surprise you like a thief, but God will bless you if you are awake and ready. Then you won't have to walk around naked and be ashamed. Okay. So I was reading something, you know, interesting earlier today and over here, I'm in the United States. So four of our major rivers are drying up as well. So the Colorado River is drying up, the Mississippi River, the Snake River, as well as the Mobile River. And um, I'm, I had no idea, like... There's this guy that I watch on YouTube, and he was, you know, having coverage as far as the Colorado Colorado River. And I was just like, oh, wow, like I have not heard this. This has not been in media that I have seen. And so I was just a little floored by it and wanted to bring it to you all's attention as well. Um, so, of course, there's nothing we can do about it. However, you know, they were talking about making awareness of what's going on. And some of the things that contribute to, um, contribute to some of the, the droughts that's going on is the habitat devastation, um, greenhouse gases, mixed environmental influences, um, just a whole bunch of different things that's going on. Um, pollution is one. Just... A whole bunch of stuff and so that sort of also brings me to the other the other day um, when I was talking about what happened as far as the train wreck over in Ohio and a lot of the surrounding states were affected but some of the fish also started dying because of the acid rain that was going on um, a lady was showing a picture of her tr of like her tree and her plants and how like you can see where it has like messed it up so i just wanted to bring it to you all's attention to be aware and be vigilant about what is going on make sure you stay prayed up that you you know are in a good space because although we may not see the last days we're in the times of the last days um so get yourself prepared you know what i'm saying understand the truth stand on it be a part of it you know um some of the things that were in the Bible are starting to reveal itself now. You know, even on another post, I was talking about um, some of the things as far as history is concerned is going on inside of the Bible as well. So just be aware, you know. So that was just a little bit of what was going on as far as talk time with Miss T. Um, 
it's interesting. I don't know what's going on outside. It's interesting. So, you know, just, just prepare. You know, I look at this girl on TikTok and she's talking about like these different bags to have any event that something goes wrong, you know, if there is no electricity, if there is, you know, some type of famine that happens to start preparing yourself. And I've heard a lot of people start preparing for, I, I'm not sure what exactly it is. We are in a times when stuff is going on in war times. And like, I was looking at this, um, this news media the other day about how like Russia is sitting on the outside of the United States. I think over by Alaska as well as over here on the East Coast too. And I'm just like, oh wow, you know, so just be prepared, you know, mentally, physically, all of the above. This has been Talk Time with Miss T. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.